Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me on this virtual recital program. I'm Andrew Sprung, Principal Clarinetist of the Baroque on Beaver Festival Orchestra. I'm happy to share four unaccompanied solos with you, starting with Fantasy by Sir Malcolm Arnold. Arnold was an English composer who started playing trumpet at the age of 12 after he heard a performance by Louis Armstrong. He attended the Royal College of Music in London, where he studied composition and trumpet. For much of the 1940s, he performed trumpet professionally, starting with the London Philharmonic Orchestra when he was still a student. By the end of the decade, he had switched to composing full-time. His compositional output includes works in many classical genres and film scores, including his Oscar-winning score for The Bridge on the River Kwai. Arnold's Fantasy for Clarinet was commissioned by the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra for the Birmingham International Wind Competition held in 1966.
English composer Ruth Gibbs got an early start in music. She gave her first performance at the age of four, and her first composition was published in 1929 when she was just eight years old. After studying composition, oboe, and piano at the Royal College of Music, she took a position playing oboe and English horn with the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra. The orchestra's conductor, George Weldon, encouraged Gibbs to take up conducting. She embarked on a prolific conducting career while also maintaining her composing career. Gibbs wrote Prelude for Bass Clarinet in 1958 for Robert Baker, a clarinetist with the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra, and also Gibbs's husband. This work is one of a very small number of unaccompanied bass clarinet solos written prior to 1960. Gibbs skillfully explores the full capabilities of the instrument, from slow lyrical passages to agile technical demands, and from the lowest notes into the altissimo register.
Wilson Osborne was an American composer who received a bachelor's degree from the University of Michigan before going on to study with Paul Hindemith at Yale University. Osborne then went on to teach music theory and composition in Philadelphia. His Rhapsody was published in 1958 and is his most well-known work. It was originally written for bassoon and it remains the most performed work for unaccompanied bassoon. Later, Osborne adapted the Rhapsody for unaccompanied clarinet, and this version is also frequently performed in recital. Osborne's compositional techniques in this work are typical of a Rhapsody, which is a single movement piece featuring highly contrasting moods and a spontaneous, almost improvisational feel.
The final piece on the program is Three Smiles for Tracy by Adolphus Hailstorp. After studying at Howard University and the Manhattan School of Music, Hailstork received his doctorate in composition from Michigan State University. His compositions have won multiple national competitions, and his music has been performed by the New York Philharmonic, the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, and the Philadelphia Orchestra. Additionally, his works have been recorded by the Detroit Symphony Orchestra and the Grand Rapids Symphony Orchestra. Written for Tracy Brown in 1989, each of the three smiles has a distinct character. The first, swiftly, the second, gently, and the third, sprightly. Thank you.